वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ परोलिको आदर यू कैन डाउनलोड द मोबाइल ऐप ऑफ परोलिको और यू कैन गो टू द डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू डॉट परोलिको डॉट कॉम एंड दिस यूट्यूब चैनल राइट नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अंडर द अंडर द वन ऑफ द बिग सेक्स एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड मास्टर स्टोक अंडर मास्टर मास्टर स्टोक आई एम डिस्कसिंग ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज एसेंशियल फॉर परफॉर्मिंग गुड इन कैट आई एम से आई एम जस्ट टेलिंग अबाउट अबाउट द एकेडमिक टॉपिक्स एकेडमिक टॉपिक टॉपिक्स मीन्स अबाउट द क्यू ए डी आई एल आर भर्बल जी के एंड वाट एवर विल बी पॉसिबल ऑल द टॉपिक और ऑल द सेक्शन आई विल डिस्कस अंडर द मास्टर स्टोक दैन वेलकम टू द मास्टर स्टोक एंड दिस मास्टर स्टोक इज रिलेटेड टू इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग क्रिटिकल रीजनिंग इज वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर और इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट फॉर योर डेवलपमेंट ऑफ वर्बल एबिलिटी मीन्स विदाउट क्रिटिकल रीड इफ यू आर नॉट अ क्रिटिकल रीडर इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सोल्व आर सी क्वेश्चन और इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सक्सीड इन लाइफ यू शुड बी अ क्रिटिकल रीडर क्रिटिकल रीडर मीन्स इट शुड नॉट बी ए critics try to differentiate between critics and critical critics means it is a negative analysis of any in any incident or any event or any of the topic but critical means unbiased unbiased means you are you are about to about to analyze positive side also and you are about uh, you are able to analyze negative side also means you should able to think critically critically means unbiased then always whenever you are reading anything any author are putting their point then you should read critically then critical thinking critical reading and critical reasoning all three things are very important for your cat preparation or mba entrance test any of the entrance test even you are taking the international exam like gre gmat also then cr critical reasoning will be one of the important important area where you have to perform well then just welcome again to the introduction of critical reasoning if you will see like a chapter wise importance wise it is one of the important chapter and critical reasoning i will take series of session or series of master stroke one master stroke will not sufficient for critical reasoning like it is a so compl- uh, complex topic or you can say it is a so delicate topic if you will not understand any of the concept properly you will you will get the confusion and you will do the mistake but this session is just an introduction about the critical reasoning again i will take the series of session related to that then you will able to get the full idea and full picture about the critical reasoning then this is your part of non rc non rc means uh, you can say non reading comprehension basically b we are dividing in three part one is your rc another is your basically we we are dividing in three parts one is rc another is non rc and another is verbal reasoning then this you can keep either in the category of non rc or you can keep in the category of verbal reasoning also then this is a part of your non rc or verbal reasoning which part if you, if you want to keep you can keep there is not a very fixed rule regulation but you it is 100% sure this is one of the building blocks for your rc because critical reasoning they will check check your ability of critical thinking and critical understanding based on the small passages passages will be very small maybe hardly 150 or 200 words passage will be there but based on that passage how much you are able to understand and how much you are able to make the interference and how much you are able to able to get the gist and how you are able to get that gist in different different way that will able to analyze in different different way means based on the argument based on the assumption and based on the conclusion means how you are able to make the conclusion and which type of assumption will be perfect for any particular type of argument and how you will able to make the argument a strengthening or weakening means variety of questions also there that also we look later now this is your part of verbal ability and of course it is a part of your logic and critical th- thinking and all these things are philosophically it is a part of one of the biggest buzzword that is called logic what is logic nobody can explain fully but based on the logic or based on the different stream of thinking of the logic or philosophy these all thinking has developed like critical thinking or maybe so many things are there that is developed based on the logic but logic basically rooted it is depends on the observation and i think one of the session i have taken also again i will take uh, another master stroke related to logic and how logic you can develop either mathematical logic or you can say like uh, based on the observation or maybe your verbal logic generally it will be two three type mathematical logic will be little easy because you are depending on the mathematical equation and concept then application will be easy either you can use in the form of uh, brain teasers or you, are, you can use to solve the puzzles or you can use to solve the any of the quantitative or mathematical questions but verbal logic sometimes it will be little difficult little difficult in the sense i am not making you afraid because it is not any fixed mathematical formula you will able to apply always 
it is not any fixed mathematical formula that you will able to apply always based on the condition and based on the type of passage you have to adopt a different different technique and different different rule different different logic you have to apply and due to verbal logic will be sometimes difficult for that also i have some cheat code i will share with you later how to how to make how to break these all verbal uh, logic area based on some cheat code means that also having certain limitation that limitation limitation we will able to catch it then right now just we are going to discuss about the cr in very fundamental way or you can say introduction of critical reasoning cr is one of the most important topic in va cr is based explained and studied based on the three terms what are the three terms first term is argument that uh, building blocks of cr is argument assumption and conclusion all it is is just human thinking nothing else and so many you can say psychological philosophical word will come if you want to understand very perfectly cr or logic like intention after then our uh, so many things are there i will discuss uh, a little bit and again i will take the another session there i will explain little bit more then here first we'll try to understand argument what is argument argument is set of statements sometimes maybe only one statement sometimes maybe set of statements and this statement is called generally premises then you can say it is based on the premises and we are putting something from our side that is called assumption and premises plus assumption we will able to conclude it how we are making the conclusion and how we can uh, we can uh, strengthening our argument or how we can weaken our argument these all will be a part of this then here you can say first and fundamental thing is argument argument is a set of a statement which is called premises purpose of argument is to determine the truthness of a statement which is called conclusion like just suppose sometimes it may start from the premises and you will conclude it and sometimes you already concluded but whatever your conclusion is there we will just go back one step behind and we will try to understand what is the premises or what is the argument behind that conclusion like just suppose you have concluded sachin tendulkar is the best batsman in this world this is your conclusion this is your conclusion some premises will be there some information will be there some data will be there some assumption will be there maybe you have assumed whatever how many centuries sachin tendulkar has made and how many thousand of run he has made in test cricket and one day cricket together and how many long years he has played cricket nobody can play nobody can reach up to that mark due to sachin tendulkar is best best uh, best cricketer some point of time maybe it will be right maybe maybe it will not right maybe it will be right may not be it will be right why because this premises maybe today it is correct but maybe after few years it may not be correct because maybe some some cricketer will come they will play more matches than him they will play more longer time than sachin tendulkar and he will able to make more no more number of runs than sachin tendulkar then we cannot say sachin tendulkar is best batsman in this world we can add little bit sachin tendulkar is best batsman till this date or you can say till cricket whatever has happened till that sachin tendulkar is best batsman if i will declare like a universal statement sun rises is always happen in east this is universal statement this is not going to change tomorrow this is not going to change after 500 years also this will always correct but this statement sachin tendulkar is best batsman it will not always sustain ms dhoni is the best captain maybe some point of time it was but now many of the cricket followers or cr cricket an analyzer they can say virat kohli is performing better than better than mahan singh dhoni maybe mahan mahan singh dhoni has won the so many so many matches and so many cups but uh, still virat kohli now they are going to perform or they are performing better than him this is this is temporary we cannot make a universal statement but what are the premises here like who are the best captain we will see what is your winning ratio winning percentage how many matches you have played how many match, matches you have won how much how many matches uh, how many matches you have lost how many matches you have played outside of india and out of that how many percentage of matches you have win and how many matches you have lost how many how many icc competition trophy you have win so many criteria will be there this shall be only called premises or you can say sometimes for simple statement this is called a data based on the data we will take some conclusion then sometimes my purpose to tell here sometimes maybe person will be concluded they have just take just uh, decided and concluded and we have to go back one step and we have to dig out what are the premises for that conclusion and sometimes you have the premises and that premises we have to add some assumption and based on that assumption you have to conclude it 
okay like somebody will tell today heavy rain will happen this is conclusion some premises will be there some premises will be there premises will be there maybe half an hour before he was coming from outside he has seen the too much black cloud in the sky too much black cloud in the sky this may be one of the symptoms of heavy rain but this is not only symptom and this is not always will be the symptom for heavy rain but his assumption is there he has added from his side if black clouds are there heavy rain will be there based on the premises premises was black cloud black cloud appeared in a sky and assumption was black cloud black cloud always produces heavy rain what happened if you will mix these two premises plus assumption conclusion will be there today heavy rain will happen then this is the process this is simple process we will observe something we will see something we will add from our side something we will conclude whatever we are adding sometimes that magnitude will be very low sometimes it will be very high and sometimes it will be sufficient then assumption also due to sometimes many of the people they will assume very perfectly and very sufficiently but sometimes many of the people they will not make the assumption very very perfectly or you can say they, whatever exactly required they will not able to make a jumpson they will always assume whatever required more than that and that always will create one of the contradiction in conclusion these all are the you can say basic understanding of the critical reasoning then your purpose of argument is to determine the truthfulness of the statement which is called conclusion then this is the conclusion and from all the side we are, it is coming set of a statement that is called premises and uh, this uh, set of a statement it is called combinedly it is argument then from all the side argument will be bombarded and conclusion will be happened and you will able to take the conclusion now just will explore little bit more arguments will be two types one is deductive one is inductive deductive means 100% truth deductive means 100% truth no probability it is truth preserving and you can say it will it will be a logical consequence of some event or some logical connective and uh, one more quality is there or one more uh, symptoms are there conclusion is certain means once you are applying or once you are taking the deductive argument then conclusion will be always certain but inductive argument he, it will based on the prediction means you are predicting something means probability of certainty will be there maybe may not be maybe may not be like this type of prediction will be there okay after 2 years this person will uh, will become married this is your prediction maybe may not be maybe after 2 years marriage will happen or may not be happen this is a probability this is a chances we don't know exactly exactly we don't know or if you are not very expert in astrology but we don't know exactly when any event will happen or maybe next year like 2019 it is there next year again world cup will be there next not next year next time 2019 happen world cup again 2014 24 will happen then we can we can say india may win 2024 because 2019 it was golden opportunity they lost 2024 it will be a best opportunity india will win the cricket world cup this is a uh, this is a prediction it is not sure it may happen it may not happen but based on the present condition of team we can say 70% chance is there india may win 30% chance is there may not be then degree of truthness will be there or probability of certainty will be there that is called inductive argument but if i am telling a equal to b and b equal to c due to a equal to c what is this one this is not inductive this is deductive this is deductive it is certain 100% certain if a equal to b and b equal to c then a equal to c will be always correct it is there is no no you can say there is no uh, there is no confusion whenever a will not equal to c always a will be equal to c if a equal to b and b equal to c then this is called deductive argument this will be 100% truth it will be truth preserving and this will be a logical consequence and conclusion will be certain but inductive same thing i just explained to you and all these are part of your logic and about the logic i will take two three master stroke then i think so many verbal many of the topics related to verbal reasoning and logical reasoning it will become more clear once i will explain the logic in detail way in two three master stroke we'll take it now we'll come to the second second uh, second point or second steps that is called assumptions what is assumptions that is simple thing you can say missing link between premises and conclusion like i given one example black 
cloud was uh, floating in the sky then one person has seen just suppose if that person brain is not having that assumption black cloud always producing the heavy rain then by seeing also he will not able to conclude today heavy rain is going to happen he will not able to this is the missing link what was the missing link missing link was he is having the assumption or he is having the experience past experiences whenever black cloud will be there heavy rain will be happen that assumption or that experience he has added in the observation and he has added in the argument and he has concluded today heavy rain will be happen then assumption is a missing link between premises and conclusion very simple i am just breaking at the level of mathematics now it is easy this is your premises you have added out your assumption and you have concluded this is simple thing and how premises will be developed premises will come from all the side all the side means it is a just uh, you can say accumulation of senses accumulation of observations whatever you are observing that summation of all these things it will you can say it is it will it will be a form of premises and we will add little bit more from own side that will become assumption and based on that we will be able to conclude then assumption is also important part don't think it is assumption it is a not important part anyway it is assumption no assumption all based again assumption is a very subjective issue assumption is a very subjective issue you cannot make any concluding frame about the assumption means for any of the incident or any of the symptoms everybody will assume in same way not necessary not necessary if one dog is barking in the night maybe one person will think some thief has come another person will think dog may be have seen some other dog due to their barking another person will think maybe something happened nearby due to dog is barking other another person will think they are maybe who are uh, keeper of that pet they are in trouble due to dog is barking incident is same incident is same but whatever our assumption that is totally different the assumption you cannot make any clear cut rule this will be only assumption this is little subjective issue but solving solving the question we have certain parameters because they are uh, they will not give that many options whatever your brain can think or whatever human brain can assume from minus infinity to plus infinity because it is totally free then if we will uh, start to assume from minus infinity to plus infinity to each and everything then they will not able to provide that many options to market then what will happen that also will make some some idea some a standard format what will be the range of assumption but one thing is sure that is a missing link between premises and conclusion assumption makes the premises logically fit to prove conclusion what we have done here assumption will make like once you will not assume something you will not able to make con conclusion and you will not uh, you will not able to able to just make full stop of the that issue like you have seen the black cloud just i am giving one example in different different way you have seen the black clouds but afterwards you are not able to make any assumption just suppose if you are not able to make any assumption then what will happen it will keep on running your brain black cloud is there what will happen maybe today some bad days there some 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 disaster will happen some natural calamity will happen something 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 so many things may come in your mind but once you have added one assumption just you made one assumption black cloud makes heavy rain then what will happen now you have concluded now you have concluded you are not worried you are not afraid okay heavy rain will be happen this is your conclusion maybe may not be correct that is different thing degree of truthness will check by different different measures that is different thing but you are now sure you are very peaceful okay some heavy rain will happen maybe right now maybe after half an hour or maybe after one hour but your brain is now peaceful you are totally uh, totally uh, totally you are just uh, uh, you can say uh, you can say totally happy now nothing is going to happen very uh, very you can say very of the disaster. stress thing some heavy rain will be there maybe right now maybe after some times what is happening here assumption makes the premises logically fit to prove conclusion you will do a small thing but logically it has made very fit to prove your conclusion your conclusion maybe that conclusion is right or wrong that i am not checking but whatever you have concluded that is now logically fit black cloud is there black cloud produce rain due to today heavy rain will happen now assumption can be also two type necessary sufficient again i am not going in very detail because again this is just introduction of critical reasoning just will discuss again in another master stroke now conclusion your third part is conclusion a statement that author or you want to prove based on given premises with help of assumption that is called conclusion like today heavy rain will happen that is conclusion what was the argument argument was black cloud what was the assumption okay argument was black cloud 
or you can say set of premises maybe you have seen in variety 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 of ways and assumption you have put black cloud produces heavy rain conclusion was today heavy rain will be happen this simple process process is simple but again variety of argument will be there so many error structure world will come in picture grammatical sentence will come in picture conjunction will be one of the part that you have to understand that you know one of the small chapter in your uh, grammar conjunction conjunction whatever words coming under the conjunction that will play the major role that will play one of the concluding role to make the cr critical reasoning questions then this is your argument that is your floor that is fixed this is not going to change black cloud is there means there your assumption may change somebody will think something different something same thing i was telling like midnight if one dog is barking then everybody will assume something different different based on your assumption building will be different here whatever pictorial pictographically i want to show like uh, how building will be make and how which type of building will be there that will be based on your assumption and argument argument will be fixed but your assumption will be different means this design can be different or this assumption can be different based on design based on that your conclusion or type of building may be different different then argument assumption and conclusion this will be the three factors so this will be the three points which we have to keep on understand and keep on we have to explore in different different way to understand the critical reasoning then just continue to learn at the rate of paroliko.com thank you thank you very much